Hello and welcome to the Android alarm clock tutorial. Um, so just so we remember what's been going on, we have uh, completed this stuff. We actually did the extra strings from the intents. Excellent. And we um, did that. We can cancel the alarm manager. We have not stopped the ringtone. Uh, we start the ringtone. Um, and now we are on this uh, fixing up the ringtone service class. Uh, we have taken into account extra strings from the intent. And now we have to work on our various if else statements. Um, so that's what we have to do. And for this is the ringtone service um, picture thing. We did our pending intent. Ooh, it's black. Pending intent. We have sent our broadcast. Um, and that will theoretically um, immediately stop the ringtone um, once we do the if else statements. We can cancel the pending intent. We did that a long time ago, though. Um, we did this last time and that. So now um, we will be doing this part um, in our video. And this, I'm not quite sure about this, so it may take a while. <laughs> to do properly. Alright, so we're in the um, ringtone playing service class and here we are. Um, let me just put some comments here. This converts the extra strings from the intent to start ID's value 0 or 1. Okay, excellent. So now we'll be um, making this uh, if else statement stuff um, because I believe this will be automatically generated by Android. But who knows? <laughs> um, so, if else statements. So I'm first going to just make the skeleton of it. Um, if, you know, that thing brackets else oh else if just so um, I have it made I have a tendency to um, get lost as far as brackets go like I put a bracket I forget where um, it's supposed to be <laughs> like you know I get confused so I like to just make my skeletons you know, here. Even though it's complaining that it has an empty body, that's fine. <laughs> and now I am going to write down what they are in English so I can convert them to computer speak later. So this one is if there is no music playing and the user pressed alarm on. That's slur the, uh, you know, um, I should write it. Music should start playing. Just so I remember which, which, what all the if else statements actually do. Um, and this one is if there is music playing and the user presses, pressed, whoops, alarm off. And if you notice, from the Richard Dawkins app, um, these logic statements are a little different, but I feel like this is more intuitive. I want to try something that works better. So it should stop playing, you know. And this, these are if the user presses random buttons, you know just to uh, bug proof the app um, if there so which one did I say I forgot so um, we did this all right and that so if music is not playing and they press the stop button okay so if there is no music playing and the user presses 
or press alarm off do nothing um, if there is let me see what this if there is music playing and he presses the on button anyway and the user pressed alarm on um, do nothing <laughs> um, can't can't think of anything else just to catch the odd event you know who knows? Sometimes things are weird. <laughs> Alright, so we have all our if else statements um, in English, so now let's um, do them programmatically. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We have to have a music playing is true, this Boolean. So let's see. Um, first, we have to make our initialization here. And our basically. Um, our boolean I want to say what happens I'm going to try something so this is yeah so so this is running thing um it's sort of like automatically made by Android. I hope that this is running is connected um, to this media song. I hope like when this is playing this is running automatically turns true. <laughs> I, I think that's how it works. Um, we will see. So if um, not this is running um, and let's see and um, start ID is equal to one that's that's just making the if and then the else or I'm just gonna make the fill in things one by one if there is music playing so if this is running and start ID is equal to zero and this one is if there's no music playing so not this is running and start ID is equal to or zero hmm well you know can't hurt to always have more <laughs> If else statements because this is complaining that's always true. Well, you know. And start ID is equal to one. There you are. Okay, so we've completed all the if else statements, and so now let's work on the body of each um, if else statement. Um, so for this one, it's the classic, uh, there's no music playing, and we want to have music play. And so it's going to be this one that we had earlier. It's the um, create instance of the media player, create it, and then we want to start it. Um, you know what, I'm going to have a log. I want to log this. There is no music, and you want on. Just so it will show up in our log when we actually run this. There is, so this one is there is music, and you want end. And these should never actually get it, but we should have it anyway. So there is no music and you want end obviously people are just pressing buttons for the fun of it <laughs> there is music and you want start 
else. Somehow you reach this. Somehow you reach this. You know, probably shouldn't happen. Um, so this is bothersome, but um we'll just see. Alright, um, so if we so this is the first one. If there's new, no music playing and the music press start, then you want to start this. Um, and now we want to change this is running is equal to true. Um, because now it is running. I wonder if we have to initialize this. This is bothering me. This is running. How does Android is just smart enough that it just knows? I feel like it's one of those just it just knows kind of things. It just knows it's connected to the media player. That would be amazing. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Maybe I should actually read the manual. Um, and I think we're just going to change once we um, I think we might just change it to zero. Once we actually press the alarm on, I'm not sure. That's in my old file, so we'll we'll think about. It. We might fix these later. This is logic is always kind of hard. <laughs> All right, so here's the second one. If there's no music playing, and the music should stop playing. So if it should stop playing, then we should stop the media player. Um, Let's just add a comment here so you don't forget. So here we have start the ringtone. So in here, and here we should have stop the ringtone. And that's we do that with media song dot stop. And we should also reset it too, because otherwise it gets confused if people like to start and stop things. Although it shouldn't because we are always going to create a new one, but you know, just a uh, precaution. And now that it's no longer running, obviously, so it's going to be false, is running. And um, I think we might just want to change the start ID to zero. I think it's always better to have something not play than to just start playing things randomly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let's see, what should we do here? If there's no music, so we should do nothing here. So this should just be, um, we should just reiterate our values. So we don't actually need this, but um, it's just to remind us what's going on. Um, same thing for this guy. Okay, um, I believe we are done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up the emulator. And then once it's fully warmed up, I'm going to um, uh, actually start the recording again. <laughs> All right. Okay, so welcome back. Um, I've started it up. I actually don't know if this will work. Um, <laughs> but um, we'll see if it actually does. <laughs> All right. All right, let's see if it stops. Oh, it works! Awesome! So the off button actually works now. Yes, so the music is only seven seconds, so I don't have a lot of time to um, do it. But it looks like the off button works. So let's see if our uh, log statements worked as they should. All right, so we're looking at the log file. That's not important. Uh, we are in the receiver, yay. That's from the pressing on button was the key alarm on. And then that's that's from this part. And then it goes, the intent goes to the ringtone playing service. So we go here. Um, ringtone extra is alarm on, so it's passed correctly. And 
there is no music in you wants to start. So, and that means this ran correctly because, um, you know, we want the music to start. Um, these two are not important. Or maybe they are. <laughs> and then, so that was when it started. Now we also press the off button. So that was we are in receiver again, yay. And this time the key was alarm off. That was correct because you press the alarm button and we want the alarm off. It passes it to the ringtone service, which is, you know, ringtone extra is alarm off. So it's passed correctly. Start ID is alarm off. Yes, yeah, so we know our IDs are being set correctly. Excellent. And um, there is music and you want the end. Yes, that's correct. So we know um, it is working correctly. Hooray! <laughs> Um, and now I want to test something. I want to see if it works um, if we start up again. Like if I say like, oh, I want to do it again. <laughs> um, maybe I should. Maybe I should do it 19. <laughs> I want to wait too long. <laughs> yeah. So it even works um, when we do off and on, off and on, that sort of thing. All right, um, this looks excellent. There's one more thing that I want to do because this on destroy, um, I actually want to change it to, we haven't, I haven't showed you guys yet, but um, I guess I can show you right now. If we actually start it and we, um, we actually close the app. It doesn't stop. I don't think. I don't think it will stop the music. Oh, it does. <laughs> well, I guess that answers my question there. <laughs> so even if we just exit the app, it will automatically stop um, the ringtone. But I'm just going just to be um, just to be very very sure. I don't like toast. I don't. I'm not sure where that came from. <laughs> um, on destroy calls. Oh, that must have come from the uh, Android um, manual. <laughs> um, Ta-da! Okay, I'm just just so I the boolean values are, you know called correctly when we destroy it we want to just make sure that is running is set to false um, I think it might be automatically done that anyway but you know can't ever be too safe <laughs> all right so we I am pretty sure that our we can our alarm clock is working so if you notice um, well I guess I can't show you right now, but if you notice, um, if we uh, if we exit the app, if well, I'll just show you right now, <laughs> I'll just uh, wait. If we like set the alarm and then we exit the app, it should also work. Like it should, the alarm should work even if we exit the app. But as of now, there's no way to get it. We have to find the app and put it on our. Um, so I'm just going to exit. So we have to somehow find it. Yeah, so it's starting. So that works, even when we're not in the app. We'll be like, oh crap, where is it? I want to turn it off. And I can't turn it off when I'm, you know, when I close the app. So in our next video, we're going to work on notification so that when we're out of the app and the alarm goes off, then a little thing should pop up here and notify us that it's gone off. So we can click it, go to the app, and then your thing. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!